You were not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I swear it's true. And good thing I got it on camera to prove it. I was enjoying a wild mud carrot when all of a sudden I saw something. It was a stranded jellyfish about to die. I quickly sped out my lunch and ran over to help. This thing was huge and jiggly. It was a jumbo jiggly jellyfish. I gave it a quick little bath and admired its slimy beauty. Afterwards, I very carefully picked it up, gave it a kiss, and rushed it back to the water. I waited for the perfect wave and yeeted it back to Bikini Bottom. And be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. What the? Oh my gosh, check this out. This is a big chunk of stinging jellyfish. I'm gonna try to pick it up without getting stung and put it back in the water. Maybe a hungry turtle can eat it. Go on, little dude. Oh my gosh, check this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. This thing is huge. And it looks like it's all together. It's not broken up. This thing could still be alive. So I'm gonna pick it up. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, go on home. Yeet. You're free now. I'll miss you. Sea anemones are super cool. They're actually related to jellyfish and look what happens whenever you touch them. Watch this. Ah, he's eating me. Ah, ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so hard to get out of. They have these little things called nematocysts. They're like little hooks with paralyzing venom. If I was a fish, I would be paralyzed and this guy would be eating me right now. If you ever see these in a tide pool, it's okay to touch them, just be really gentle and don't poke the little hole in the center, as tempting as it is. Um, you can touch the outside or you can touch their little tentacles, but always do it really lightly. And if they're holding onto you really tight, don't panic, just keep pulling slowly and they'll eventually let go, but just be gentle. You are not gonna believe what we just saw at the beach. I heard this spot on the map is super crazy, so we're gonna go check it out and see. Here you go, Franklin. Jake is about to send it through this lake. Okay guys, we made it to the spot. I can hear something very loud behind these trees. Let's see if this place is as crazy as everyone says it is. Oh, yo, are pine cones edible? <laughs> yo, we made it. Check out these huge waves right behind me. Look, a rainbow. These little shrimps are Jake and Logan, and they're both infected by invasive blood-sucking isopod parasites. But don't worry, little dudes. I'm a shrimp doctor, and I'm here to help. Let's help Jake first. All right, here we go. Hey, easy there, little rascal. What are you trying to fight me? Nah, he's not a fighter. He just wants a high five. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get this parasite out of the way. We're gonna gently lift your gill flaps and pull the invasive sea cockroach out of your gills. Almost done and done. Now I'll give you something to fight, Jake. Here you go. All right, next up is Logan. What's up, Logan? You seem pretty chill. Definitely not the problem child in this family. All right, let's see if we can find a parasite. Aha, there it is, right under the gill flap. But don't be afraid. We're gonna get this parasite removed. Nice and easy. There we go. All right, we're gonna yeet this parasite yeet. into the compost, set our shrimpy friends free, and be sure to like and follow if you love ocean animals.